something and I really wanted to go blind instead of doing something you know that uh, has been done several times before. So in October 2014 I went and I climbed this mountain and the video is just going to share a brief journey of uh, this climb. Big fat abs. <laughs> so doctor how are you feeling today? Excellent. Excellent. Very good. Nice trip. How are you feeling, Kunta? I'm doing good. Yeah. Yeah. Even though we don't know each other before the trip, we all share the same passion. Sherpa and Rais and several other ethnicities that also work as porters. You, most of the Sherpas or these ethnicities start working as porters before they, you know, get promoted to guides or cooks or you know those kind of things. So a lot of these guys, uh, it's all per kg. You want to get paid per kg. The more you lift, the more you get. There's no cap. There's no guideline. There's, there's no guideline on the lower mountain. So this guy could probably be 50 kgs and still be hauling 120 kgs on his back and making a lot of money. Now as you go higher up the mountain, what tends to happen is that there are ladders on the mountain. Now you, a Sherpa cannot carry a lot of his weight and walk on the ladder because that could damage the ladder, could also put the Sherpa life in risk. So at that point there are cuts, like you know you can only carry 25 kgs or you can only carry 30 kgs, those kind of things. But on higher mountain, once there are no such ladders or anything, like my my Sherpa carried like 10 oxygen cylinders. So how much were you carrying? What was the weight that you were carrying? Sorry, I'll just answer. Yeah. I was carrying, uh, in the lower mountain I was carrying around 20 kgs. That 20 hours your body consumes 20,000 calories. <coughs> that is the amount you put in your body in like 8 to 10 days. That's the kind of you know calorie usage on, on a big mountain. Uh, but I choose very very carefully what I'm eating when I'm training. Uh, and the moment I come on the mountain, as long as my food is vegan, I will eat everything. This time I ate everything from a dosa to pav bhaji to upma, pizza, burger, you name it, I ate everything. Because at that altitude you just need calories. What if somebody is slow, slower than the rest or how do you enter that person to keep up? What is the challenge there? So first of all on the mountain everyone is slow. Okay. As much as fast you can be at the sea level. Most people are just spending inside this zone. You are actually on borrowed time. You have to get inside this zone, climb the mountain and quickly come out and go home. The more you stay in this zone, the more chance that you are going to end up dying. 50% of all deaths on Everest have happened inside this zone. That's why it's called the death zone. Subscribe to our channel for event updates on fitness, outdoor and adventure activities.